The year 2019 is coming to an end. It's a few days after Christmas. I got my new Fitbit on. And in this video, we're going to look ahead and I'm going to make seven predictions for the year 2020. And stick around at the end of the video. I'm going to make a prediction that one of the big CEOs is not going to make it through the year. So, hey, everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And today I'm going to take all this information that I've gathered over the year, all the articles that I've read, you know, doing research, and I'm going to make seven predictions, things that I think are going to happen or not happen in the year 2020. So let's jump right in. Number one, driver pay will not decrease and it will not increase. It will stay where it's at. So I'm basing this prediction on the fact that Uber and Lyft will never raise the rates for drivers because that will affect their bottom line. So what's going to stop them from cutting it even more? Well, I think what's happening in California with AB5, they are fighting a public uh, relations battle in which they're trying to convince everybody that drivers are actually independent contractors rather than employees. And if we are independent contractors, they can't be messing around with how much we get paid. So for that reason, I don't think the rates are going to go down any lower. So I think we can, we can relax on that front, but don't expect to see anything increasing either. Number two, the rate that passengers pay will increase slightly. So Uber and Lyft need to start making a profit. The, one of the strongest ways that they can do that and move, move in that trend is to increase how much passengers pay. I mean, Uber's got 3 million trips in America per a day. Just a few cents, right? 50 cents a ride would, would generate a tremendous amount of money. So I see that happening. Lyft has already started to increase the rates. Uber, of course, will follow suit. And I think together in tandem, they're going to keep increasing the rates. I believe that passengers will continue to use the service. They're not going to lose passengers because the rates increase because people are addicted to the service. It's a great service. So. Number three, demand for drivers will increase. As a humanity, we are now addicted to comfort and speed and ease. You want your Uber to pick you up in five minutes. You want your food delivered quickly. Uh, you want your weed delivered when you want to get high. I mean, you want your Amazon packages delivered yesterday. So with all these things, people need to drive cars or drive uh, scooters or drive bikes. More and more autonomous vehicles, more and more autonomous vehicles need to be driven around cities so that those cars can collect data to become better. So um, I can tell you behind the scenes a little bit with uh, the rideshare guy, we got companies that want to uh, get more drivers. So that's the trend. More drivers are needed. So uh, if you are willing to drive your car for money, uh, you will always have a place uh, to work. Number four, Uber and Lyft will drive public transportation in America to improve. In other countries like Malaysia, you can take a train ride. It's beautiful. It's clean. Everyone does it. You got your little spot. You can uh, use the free Wi-Fi. It's a wonderful experience. Here in America, we have a really hard time with public transportation. But now that there's more demand from Uber and Lyft pulling passengers away, public transportation is going to have to improve to compete. So I see that as something we're going to start to see uh, in the new year. Number five, neither Uber nor Lyft will show a profit in 2020. Um, with rates going up, as I've predicted, I think we're going to see a trend towards uh, they'll be losing less money, but I don't think they're going to actually uh, crack the code in this year to, uh, to become profitable. I read an article where a guy predicted Uber would be profitable this year. I don't buy it. I say it's still two years away. Okay, number six, I am predicting that Dara K uh, of Uber, uh, the CEO of Uber, will not make it through another year. Uber's taken some big hits. Their safety report, right, really uh, did not play well. Over 3,000 sexual assaults or attacks uh, in Uber vehicles uh, in a year. That's a big number. Granted, it's a small percentage, but the media seemed to uh, latch onto the fact that uh, it was a, a big number. Uh, Uber stock just tanking, right? Under his, under his guidance, uh, Uber stock just dropped, 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 right? 
Then he made the big faux pas on, on HBO. Uh, he just made a, made a real gaffe, a real mistake of something that he said, which kind of has people shaking their head like, how could you even say something like that um, on TV while you were being recorded? I think we're just uh, one more mistake away from uh, the board saying, we need a new energy. Uh, we're, we're coming towards profitability. We bring in a new CEO. That'll really eliminate all the Travis Kalanick hijinks that happened and uh, these, these things that I just mentioned. And, we, and, and it's, a, it's a new Uber. So I see that as a real possibility. And number seven, the final prediction is the rideshare guy will keep delivering for you. <laughs> okay? Yeah, let's hear it for the rideshare guy. We are all about bringing you news and articles and, and, and videos about how you can learn uh, things to either work on your plan B or to become a more efficient driver so you can make more money in less time. And we're going to keep doing it. We love what we do here at the Rideshare Guy. It's a joy to uh, be of service to drivers. We love drivers. Fist bump to the drivers. And we're going to continue to deliver. Share it with your friends. Just keep coming back. And we're going to keep bringing you stuff that's interesting and informative and entertaining. All right, so the Rideshare Guy, that's prediction number seven, is there for you. Key takeaways, 2019, great year. I hope you got a lot done on your plan B. Uh, you're excited about 2020 coming. These are my predictions. These are just things that I've, from all the information and all the reading that I've gathered, whether they come true or not, we shall see. But uh, it was really fun putting this together for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, join our team. You get a lot of great content, two, three, four videos every single week, and you'll be notified when they come out. Happy New Year. Y'all go out and have a great day, and we'll all go out and have a great 2020. Be safe out there.